morning, everybody. So nice to see you all here. Uh, welcome to day two of What's Next. How many of you were here yesterday? Well, wow, that's wonderful. Thank you for coming back. It's lovely to see you again and, and wonderful to see some new faces too. We're going to uh, have an exhilarating morning talking about the transformational ideas that will shape our future. Um, I want to take a, an important moment to thank Boeing who made this whole experience possible as they mark their centennial and look ahead to the next hundred years. Thank you to Boeing. And like Boeing, the Atlantic has been around for a long time too. It's a wonderful thing to be able to say. And I also like to say that we have the enduring values of an of a enterprise that's been uh, here for nearly 160 years and yet we also have the heart of a startup. Uh, always inventing and reinventing. And it's that spirit of innovation that I hope will fuel today's conversation. You'll hear it and feel it when we meet two college students hoping to make a mark on the future. When we zoom in on the city to hear about what makes Chicago such an alluring place for tech startups. We'll zoom out to find out what's next for Facebook's billion users around the world when we meet the head of product design at the world's most popular social networking site. And we'll learn about some new technologies designed to keep us safe and bring light to people who need it most. Before we begin, uh, please silence your cell phones, but keep them close because we'd like everyone to join the conversation and we have many ways to do that. We are on Twitter, of course, at Atlantic Live. Use the hashtag what's next 100. That's what's next the words and then the number 100. Uh, you can also download the at Milk app that's spelled M-I-L-Q, like the milk that nourishes us. The Q at the end is for questions. Uh, as the people who were here yesterday know, we teamed up with our friends at Milk to create an online forum for what's next. And the purpose is to help break the ice with one another uh, and to connect by asking and answering questions like, what fictional invention from film or TV do you wish was real? Uh, we got lots of answers to that one yesterday from Star Trek, including this, warp drive to make interplanetary travel possible. Or if you could be reincarnated as any creature, what would it be? That was from one of our speakers yesterday. And the Atlantic team asked, what should be the next theme, what should be the theme song for this What's Next Summit? And I love this. Here are some of the answers we got. Somewhere over the rainbow. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow and imagine, all pretty perfect. Please keep adding to these questions and answers and we want everybody to be part of the conversation here in the room too. We'll be taking your questions throughout the morning. And with that, let's roll. To kick us off, please welcome Oscar Munoz, Munoz the CEO of a little enterprise headquartered here in Chicago, United Airlines. He's joined by my colleague, The Atlantic's Washington editor-at-large, Steve Clemens. Thank you very much, Margaret.